To start out, make sure all the parts are present. There should be a left side and a right side, hardware kit, and a nameplate. Attach the two sides so they fit tightly together. To secure them, we will insert a screw into each side of the rack onto what is called the perimeter tube. We're going to put one right here and one on the other side. Later, when we mount it to the frame using the holes here, we may have to shake the rack a little to loosen it just enough for the perfect fit. So let's go ahead and place the screw right here on this perimeter tube. And here on the other side of the perimeter tube. Take the nameplate and situate it onto the rear center of the cargo rack. There should be two screws left over, and we're going to use those to secure it in. Carry the rack to the frame and try and line up the holes as best you can. Attach the rack to the frame using the bolts and washers from your hardware kit. Go ahead and put one in each corner. When you get to the last hole, you may notice that it might not fit in as perfectly as it should. You may need to slightly loosen one of the screws from the perimeter tubes. Shake the cargo rack just a little bit. This should loosen it up just enough for you to fit that last bolt in. When you've got all four bolts in the cargo rack, remember to tighten back the perimeter tube screws. Once all the bolts are on the cargo rack, you might want to open it up. This will make it much easier when putting the nuts on. Attach a washer and a locking nut to each of the four bolts. Tighten them down using a socket wrench or just any wrench that you have around your shop. Once all the bolts are tightened to the frame, the assembly is complete. Thank you for choosing the stowaway cargo rack. And if you have any questions or comment, don't hesitate to contact us.